afternoon, Lebanon and Area Seniors. Uh, it's kind of a rainy, you know, cloudy June day here in Lebanon. Um, so, of course, you've got to be thinking of strawberries, right? Um, Strawberry Festival would have been this past weekend, um, our big annual event here in Lebanon. And, of course, um, due to the current conditions with the COVID-19 situation, unfortunately, most of those events had to be canceled. But that's not going to prevent us at the Lebanon Senior Center from celebrating, you know, our city's favorite fruit, you know, the good old strawberry. Mmm, check those out. Um, a lot of local farms are uh, picking them, nice and fresh and juicy and ripe. Uh, so delicious. I've had um, several cartons already and a lot of different things um, between smoothies and just fresh and with a strawberry shortcake, of course. But I wanted to show some of the diversity of strawberries this month in our cooking video series. So today we're going to be demoing something rather simple uh, as we get into those summer months. Um, today isn't one of them, but the weather will start getting nicer and hotter and we won't always feel like cooking, right? Um, I know I don't like to cook when my kitchen gets, you know, uh, too warm to be in. Um, not, not a big fan of heat. I would rather have a cloudy day, honestly. Um, but that doesn't keep me from appreciating the bounty that summer has to offer. The farmer's market's open. A lot of fresh produce is starting to roll in. Maybe you're growing things in your own garden. I know I've got strawberries in my patch that aren't quite as ready as these, but they're coming along nicely. So later this summer, I'll have some nice strawberries. Um, summer is a great time to take advantage of those fresh fruits and vegetables. So that also inspires today's recipe. So today we're starting with something super simple and really easy, and we are going to make a strawberry salad. Now, you, you know, the greens take up most of the plate, so it might feel like they're the star of the show, but uh, how often do you have a strawberry in your salad? I guarantee if you put one in there, it's going to take over some of those flavor profiles and make you sit up and go, mm, oh yeah, strawberries, like those. And uh, why not add them to salad? So we've kind of got a fun salad today. I'm gonna share with you an option to make your own dressing. I'm not actually gonna make it because uh, I've got my favorite salad dressing on standby that I like to use when I'm adding fruit um, to a salad. This is not my first rodeo adding fruit to a salad. If you don't do it that often, you should try it definitely can add some fresh life um, to some of those boring greens. So like with most salads, I've got a plethora of greens cut up. I did a half and half combo. So I've got spinach. Mmm, spinach, good for you. All kinds of nutrition there. And I've got the less nutritious and more boring romaine. I like the romaine because it adds that crunch, right? Nothing like eating a fresh salad. You expect to have some crunch in it. So the romaines definitely have a lot of water content, which is good for hydration too, especially in the summer. Um, so we get nutritious spinach, some fresh romaine, kind of has a nice balance of really good for me and really fun to eat. I'm gonna add some of that to plate. You could make this in a big bowl, but uh, I'm gonna be sharing with a neighbor and I don't want to uh, necessarily soak their their uh, greenery in some of the, the the dressing and stuff early and have it get soggy so i'm actually just going to make mine on a plate you could definitely be tossing everything into a bowl and give it a good toss right before you go to eat it yourself or for your family so i've got my greens on my plate um i did do about half a bag of spinach rinsed and a head of a heart of romaine so that's the lettuce called green combination I have going on. And I got about a pound of strawberries. Um, you know, more or less is up to you. That's the fun thing about salads. You can zhuzh them up or down accordingly. And so again, I'm not going to add them all in because I want to leave some for my neighbor and, you know, probably for myself when I have a second helping at dinner. So we've got our strawberries in there. I'm bumping up some nutritional value and I'm adding in some bell peppers. I had some sitting around and uh, so good for you. A lot of vitamin C in there and it adds some color to the plate as well. Um, again, adding that crunch factor that I particularly like in a salad. So we're adding those in there. I'm also going to add in like the, the bit of um, 
pungentness of some fresh red onion. So I'm going to toss some fresh red onion onto my salad as well. If you don't like onion or if you wrestle with heartburn, certainly feel free to admit, uh, omit those. I'm also going to add in some uh, mandarins or clementines. If you've got orange slices, just that little citrus, the acids. Going to add a nice little pop of flavor. Again, depending on how many you're serving, how big a salad you're making, um, you know, if it's just for you and you're making a smaller version, you can certainly just do one mandarin or clementine. If you're doing several people, you know, you can go up to four. I've also got here, it's just my house, and these are mine, so I'm sticking my hand in the bag. These are cr uh, dried cranberries. I get these. I'm at the bulk food section um, of a local grocery store and I'm just going to you know drizzle some of those on I don't think I'm drizzling how about drop add some dried cranberries again like the onion like the citrus they just add that that oomph there's the that tartness behind a dried cranberry there's some sweetness too there's what kind of blends some of these flavors together and marries them together now, you know, I'm all about balancing some things out. I had some rotisserie chicken left over. I won't lie. It was in my fridge, but uh, it has disappeared. That's the joy of, of still having a couple of other uh, people at home with me. And um, I think it got turned into somebody's lunch yesterday. So it's missing. So I did take some uh, turkey lunch meat that we had and I diced that up just so I could add some protein to my salad. You can also do this with nuts. Um, I think some almonds or some uh, honey glazed pecans or anything like that would be super nice to add um, to this salad. And you are certainly welcome to do that. We do have a nut allergy in the house, so I'm kind of cautious on nuts that I use here at home. So none of those going in today. And like my friend the rotisserie chicken, I did have some white sharp cheddar cheese that I was going to uh, crumble up to add. You can certainly use a feta or a goat cheese um, to add to this. Again, that sharpness in contrast to the sweetness of the berries and the clementines would be really great. But um, that white sharp cheddar cheese seems to have uh, disappeared as well. So I'm going to add a little shredded parm. Uh, it's what I had, so I'm just going to put just a little bit of shredded parm on there. If you're watching calories, you certainly do not need the shredded Parmesan cheese, and you can just um, go without. Now, for me, I shouldn't give him um, credit because, you know, we're not getting endorsed for this, but there's this particular brand of honey mustard dressing that I absolutely adore. It is my favorite thing to add to a salad that has a fruit comp uh, component to it. Um, the honey uh, of it just really blends nicely, but the mustard is really balanced well and gives that, that tart balance, so it's not something that's overly sweet. I, don't know, I just really enjoy it on my salads that involve fruit. So that's what I'm going to be adding to my salad this afternoon. The variation that comes with a recipe is a citrus vinaigrette that's based off of some of the clementines that that we used i am going to be adding of course all the ingredients and instructions below in in a comment um, but for the dressing they say to add so about half a cup of good olive oil to a bowl um, and you're going to need three to four clementines you are going to need to zest uh, two teaspoons worth of zest off of them um, clementines have very thin skin. Again, mandarins work too, but the skin's thin. So you need quite a few of them to get enough zest off of that. Um, and four tablespoons of juice. So you're going to be squishing up some of those clementines to get some juice out of them. And then a large lemon, again, for half a teaspoon of zest, two tablespoons of juice. Um, and then you're going to need about two and a half tablespoons of honey and two teaspoons of Dijon mustard or your favorite mustard and half a teaspoon of fine sea salt. You're gonna drop all of that in a bowl and get whisk happy. You are gonna whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, whisk it until it all comes together in a nice dressing, nice and smooth. And you have that to be able to pour uh, over your dressing. And you are certainly welcome to make your homemade dressing. I'm just feeling super lazy today 
and honestly I'm not a super fan of, of some of the vinaigrette things. Um, that one didn't have vinegar in it. You could if you wanted to add just a tiny, tiny little bit of vinegar. Um, you could do a cider vinegar or um, your favorite vinegar if you want to just add that, that contrasting note to the sweetness of the honey and the clementine. Um, but I tell you, this, this who shall not be named honey mustard is my go-to and has some very similar qualities as that dressing. And since I like to use it all the time, I'm just going to use that and not have an extra dressing sitting around my refrigerator. So that works for me. So this is what our lovely salad looks like. Let me see if I can't get a nice close up of it. Kind of the white cheese on the white plate kind of takes it out for you. But it looks absolutely delicious and the strawberries are happy, happy, happy in there. So I encourage you to break out some of your fruits and vegetables and uh, have a go at making a salad that involves strawberries this season. Give it a chance to dance on your taste buds and uh, get, definitely get those extra vitamins and, and minerals you need in your system by adding more fruits and vegetables to your diet. Um, and certainly a great refreshing salad is a good way to do that. I hope you guys have a great rest of your afternoon. And again, for the rest of the month of June, we will be celebrating our beloved strawberry. We've got some desserts and we've got some uh, accompaniments. So come back, definitely join us each week on Tuesday afternoon for a new strawberry recipe. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.